the planet Corban. The unrendered planet Corban. Eh, I guess John Cena was right, I really can't see him. Bow, bitch. At last you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. I think I'll take the first option. I didn't bring you here for levity. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. You had better be able to deliver that, Tremel. Leave your doubt at the door. There's no room for it in here. And no time to waste. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy. And okay. he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, Someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly savage creatures. Be speedy but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. If they lack the instinct to avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. All right. Gonna... There we go. Like the quick bar that way. Move some things around. Yeah. Let's see what lightsaber form is this shy show form. But no, I guess John Cena is right, since I don't have eyes, I technically cannot see him. From my towns now, bitches. Who the fuck are you? <clears throat> Weirdo. What else is in this mailbox? Take the galactic stronghold shit and throw everything else away. Yes, I want to throw this shit away. Alright. Let's see here. Noob Island. You're in bad shape, Lieutenant. A few grave robbers, too much for you. There's a special crew for medical attention. Sort of secret passage into the tomb around. Don't question me. Sith want them cleared out, but too many places for them to hide there. Those men packs here. Not nah, very useful. Start using your eyes. If they've stolen anything, it'll be your head. Just shut up and fix me. All right, I don't have any special abilities yet. <laughs> Yeah, 
Except for the fact that I'm a killing machine. Bitches. Yeah, level one first planet creatures beware. Datacron is where one of the Datacrons is, and I'm gonna find it as a turn in the course of this. Don't have a course lug hunt. Don't think that I don't know how to weed him out. Yeah, that was some that was a stupid reference. Fuck that. Hey, buddy. Oh, you got my bitch. You too. Your turn. Yeah. I'm a fucking killing machine. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, buddy? Not much, that's for sure. Because I'm a fucking kill. Fucking horse lugs and their bullshit. Man, this, these fucking things are all over the place. Level two, what you gonna do? Fucking got murdered. So I looked at the amount it costs to subscribe to this game. It costs quite a bit. A lot more than I got to spend. And it only lasts for 180 days. I mean, that is less than a half a year. Oh, there's the place I just landed. Oop. Ow. Man, it's a good thing I'm... Man, it's a good thing that I'm... Unlike Kenny from South Park, I can't really die. I'm a gamer, I don't die. I just respawn. <laughs> so, so far I'm liking being a Sith a bit more than just an Imperial agent. Cause I'm sure I'll get some cool force powers after a while. I'm gonna wait for... I don't like to follow the linear game timeline at all. I like to do whatever I want. Like, I remember one time I started on a level 1 planet. And then I went and farmed, and then I went off to another planet, and then I went to basically the... It was like the level 10 to 16 planet or something. And then basically I kept doing that until I didn't have a ship, so I couldn't really do anything. But no, so I basically came back and completed like level 3 missions with a level 16 player. Good times. But no, I think I saw like some glowing thing somewhere. And I want to go and uh, get it. There are enemies nearby. You know... Oh yeah, there's definitely glowy things somewhere, and I want it. I want it. I want the glowy thing. It's probably hidden somewhere. It's hidden. That's probably like a hair and gold mission over there or something. Yeah. 
Nope, no glowy thing. Maybe it's behind that wall. Can I get on? I can't get behind the wall. Uh, oh, hey. Glowy thing. Datacron. You have located a Datacron, an ancient technology once used by the infinite... Oh, okay, I can't read that. This Datacron was created for one purpose to... Okay, I can't read that. You improve your endurance attribute. Once used, you will no longer be able to access the power. Endurance plus two. Oh, more to be found, huh? That's pretty cool. I feel the power of the dark side. <laughs> this is why I don't game very much. Now, how is this an efficient way to transport a shuttle with all this shit laying around? I want to execute the person responsible for this. Sorry, I got distracted. Hey, what you doing? Where you going? Where are you going? How's, what's your name? How are you? What year is it? Hey, wait up. Red Dragon. I just want to be friends with that person. Yeah, I just realized these are giant statues of naked dudes. Also, is that ship even moving? I think that ship's kind of moving. Yep, it's moving. I wonder where it goes. What it does. I have to take a shit. Uh, let's see here. Glad I got that out of my system. I'm gonna try and find something in the settings.
that's not there. Well, let me see. Nope. Well, I mean, I can't dual wield, but I mean... Fucking racist against left handed people. Ah oh, well. And the character just has to be right handed, I guess. Even the left handed people are clearly superior in every imaginable way. Man, what the fuck am I even doing? This is how bad I am at focusing. Anyway, I should probably actually go back around because it's, there's probably a mission at the start of the uh, cave thing. Well, I'm the most easily distracted person alive. Why do you things even exist? Like, this is the most cannon fodder shit I've ever seen. Like shit, next time I fight one of those things, things I won't even use my sword. See what I tell you, there's a mission right there. What the fuck you want? Excuse me, Acolyte. Sergeant Corman, 5th Infantry Company, Corbin Ray. I don't care. Can I... can I talk to you? Make it quick, Sergeant. Of course. You're the acolyte overseer Tremel had brought in special, right? Heading down in the tomb to show what you're made of. Mind your business, soldier. Apologies if I offended. I thought you might appreciate the chance to not only show off for the overseers, but build some ties with the Imperial military as well. I'm here commanding a hard target mission to exterminate claw slugs in this tomb. They're horrific things. Mouths bigger than your head. I've lost three squads of good men fighting them. They come in packs. They just... They'll swallow a man whole. Death is a way of life. Yes, sir. But the mission is in danger of failing. Sending more men isn't the answer. The damn claw slugs breed so fast there's no way to wipe them out conventionally. So we started targeting their egg chambers. They went insane. 
We managed to get explosives to all of the egg chambers, but the claw slugs were all over us before we could detonate them. I remain unmoved. I know, but we can't do it without you. You have a tactical advantage my soldiers don't. The Force. That makes you worth a dozen normal men. Don't oh underestimate God, those claw slugs, sir. Uh, they're, they're smarter. Yeah, it sounds like someone's kicking his ass just fine. What the fuck? You desire more power. Good. Remember, peace is a lie. Peace is a lie. I'll remember that. No, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna... Make these things without my uh, sword just to prove how easy they are to fight. Wait a second. Maybe I do need my sword. Uh, hi. Okay, what's that thing? Burrower. Floor slug burrower. Bitch, how are you? Nah, yeah, I probably could fight them without my fucking sword if I really wanted to. <sighs> Just to prove that I'm fucking superior, watch this shit. Oh. Oh shit. second thought, I don't even see how this was even a reasonably good idea. Come at me! That wasn't... That was a bad idea. out fine if it weren't for that glitch. I got 99 problems and glitches are responsible for all of them. Wait, hold on a second. If I completed the bonus mission... Oh, that's not a bonus mission. That's why. Okay. Two, we're going to be... Okay. Get on my level! Oh, that's right. You fucking can't! I fuck your shit up, I'll make it rain, I'll make it rain, I'll be hit. I'll make it rain, I'll make it rain, I'll make it rain, I'll be hit. What you even gonna do? I'm gonna stand right on top of it. This is the most dissatisfying explosion I've ever seen. And this is a scary ass cave. Seventy two people on Korriban.
Okay, that guy wins wins the uh Yes, you are the fucking Goonies. I'm really not very good at interacting with people. Why do these things even exist? Like, it's, it's, it's the most incompetent enemy ever. Smash! Give him a smash! For the YouTubes! Explosions when you set off the charges. Outstanding, sir. I don't need your judgment. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Alright, what do you give me? Better be some good new boots. These boots are fabulous. Pizza shit. No, I don't have time to type something into the, into the chat. Wow, this thing is uh, drawing fast. I'm making a uh, full metal jacket reference in the uh, chat right now. Constantly full of full metal jacket references. People, how long is it gonna take them to get the fucking full metal jacket references?
damn it. I wish that it would just tell you that instead of deleting the entire message. I never get anything accomplished at any time because I get distracted from the task at hand constantly. But I don't know. Uh, let's see here. So I finally was able to afford the tuition at the Sith Academy. I got a scholarship. I'm just gonna complete the task at hand with uh, the next couple of tasks and then uh, be done. Rolling, rolling, rolling. God's not dead yet. Part two. God is dead, and then we kill them. This guy, this guy sucks. Noob! Fucking newbie McNoobatron. What the fuck? Okay, okay, yes. Oh, I kicked your ass. There needs to be a teabagging setting on this. I will Mr. Teabag you into the nearest cemetery. No one gonna miss you cause all your friends imaginary. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Da 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 John Cena of enemies, that's all I'm saying. Like, I can't see them. And yeah, I'm still kicking their asses. Of course I am going in the wrong direction. You dare loot the tombs of the Sith? Oh, fuck you! I will get the shit out of you! Now what kind of dumbass would go and try and loot the 
what are these guys even doing on Gore Band to begin with? But, like, who would try and loot a Sith Tomb? Like, that's just asking for trouble. Like, I don't even think fucking Indiana Jones would go into this shit. Like, for one thing, you know, there's gonna be Sith all over the damn place. Like, seriously, who, who, like, it's filled with chlor slugs and fucking Sith, the most badass thing on, in the universe. I'm the, I'm the Bark King, Mark Cuthurash. Alright, well, on my next mission. Man, he is dead. He looks really dead from here. Uh, well, by the time I do that, his body will have already been gone, so it wouldn't be a waste of time. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yes, I finally, uh, so apparently the Pittsburgh Steelers won today, but I still want to make this joke. Um, why do the Steelers play on Heinz Field? Because they are always playing catch-up. I don't know jack shit about football, but I know that. But I know that that's a decent joke. Well, let's see, what do I do now? Whoa. You know, if you try to stop me before I hit the blade, I mean... Because, I mean, obviously it's a slightly more powerful weapon. So I'm like, why not try and kill me before I uh, acquire the more powerful weapon? I don't know. I think, think it would just be a bit wiser of a tactic. Fucking thing sucks! This is just the kind of thing that I mean, I, I, I loot things before I even worry about fighting the other enemies that are fucking shooting at me. Robert. Da, da, da. 
Wow. That's a big ass tomb. And it's pretty complicated too. You'd think that. Uh... No, no, I just don't understand why you'd want this big and complicated of a tomb. When is he like so. Uh, I forget. Actually, I forget which. Uh... I forget which tomb this one actually is, by the way. I think it might be a Jonta Paul. And actually, um, in Knights of the Old Republic, I believe you actually have a dialogue with the uh, ghost of a, of a Jonta Paul. Which I actually thought was pretty cool. He seemed pretty fucking depressed. I don't know why, I mean, he's a badass Sith. I'd be pretty fucking happy if I didn't have to spend my entire life getting money and fucking bitches. Serious football going on upstairs. I'm not fucking watching that shit. Cause I don't even, I don't eat, I don't even football to be perfectly honest. this shit lore object I'll take it it's is mine oh no ah what you gonna do South Park episode come out on Wednesday. Uh, or is it gonna be like till next October that the sequel to hashtag rehashing comes out? Which kind of makes fun of what I'm actually doing right now, but whatever. Ah, first day at the Sith Academy. I see you, droid. I'll get you one of these days.
taken care of. Ah. I am most thankful. Yes, sir. That's not the kind of thing I'd say. Never mind. Hold on a second. I don't even know what I was thinking there. I gotta be an asshole to everybody. I have taken care of your... Ah, then I'll assume my men are dead. Even so, yep. you've done us a great service. Their loss is your gain, I suppose. I have completed my task, then. Yes, sir. I was nice for a second. I don't know what was up with that. There's another mission, yeah, here it is. Acolyte, I come with a message. Overseer Tremel can teach you the ways of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Overseer Tremel wishes you to meet them and learn what you can. The pure blood in your veins gives you a very attractive coloring. To even touch a pure blood woman, you must prove that the Sith runs strong through your muddied veins. A Sith woman only respects power. Go. Someday oh, yeah, you may focus learn on, is on the ass as she says that. If not, kill me. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. Okay. Ah, finally. I actually uh, was able to get a scholarship playing Hutball. Very uh, convenient, you know. Uh, actually, I was in the uh, in high school. I was actually... Uh, Defensive player of the year for the Hutball team. I actually was uh, the first person to eat someone while playing the game. What else the game? Man, all these skills are strong. Are cheap. But you could be stronger. I mean, shit, if anything, I mean, shit, if anything, I came away with some credits on that. Show no mercy. Wasn't playing on it. But yeah, it was a. Uh, but yeah, I attended uh, Narshada High School, and uh, you know, I didn't score very much. But uh, well, I mean, you know what they say about defensive players: we do all our scoring off the field. Let me get a look at you. Hmm. So you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. You don't want to make me angry, Vemrin. Believe it or not, I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, you might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Togus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. I'm going to take what's yours, and then I'm going to kill you. You have no idea the enemy you're making. Coming, Dorgas. Be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other. But accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. I'm gonna kill him. Whoa, what happened to my fucking abilities? There we go. Like, I was about to be like, what? 
Alright, let's talk to this asshole. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I hope it's thirsty. I plan on drowning it. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? Yeah, I hate him already. I look forward to ending his miserable existence. If things go well, you will have that satisfaction someday. Still... I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the That's empire. racist. He must not be allowed to advance. So... You're an elitist snob. You say that like it's a bad thing. It's the Sith way. Only the best, only the most pure, should be good enough. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. You'd better send someone to clean up after me. The slave pens are right there. They have mobs. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. <laughs> 